Okay, in this video, I'm just going to give you a little extra insight as to where I'm heading with my projects. A number of years ago, I was really motivated to just teach math to elementary and middle school kids, high school kids, just to kind of motivate them to do things. But I found that it hasn't been that popular. So, and not only that, for, I wanted to do it for the use in Blender because Blender is pretty cool in many ways. You can do a lot of cool things with it here, but it, a lot of that requires that you have knowledge of programming and math and physics. And not a lot of animators and artists really want to learn that kind of stuff. So instead of me teaching a lot of that anymore, I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to make a lot of models that already have physics-based effects built into them. And then instead of it like a traditional website where you purchase a 3D model and it has a texture map that goes with it, mine will be designed to have you purchase the 3D model, but instead of having a texture that goes with it, it'll have pre-built physics effects built in, kind of like my digital clock. I mean, you might try and make a digital clock and see how tricky that actually is. But in this case, this is for like detonation effects, because this is a common thing. Everybody wants to blow things up, it seems like, in the, in the games and stuff. So, But to do it really right within the game, it has to be Python-based. You can't do it through the logic bricks, and everything else looks like fake. So I'll kind of give you an idea. I have a little detonation detonation object here and if I could just go touch this thing here like that it'll take it out just like that so the way I'll design it is that you won't need to know anything about the programming or anything like that I'll essentially just sell a, a detonation ob based object and you can just put it anywhere within your scene that you want and I'll give you a way to trigger it whether it's through a mouse effect like this in this case I'm just triggering it by moving my mouse over the block if I hold it there, it'll give enhanced effects like that. This kind of a test for me to see how well Blender can handle it. And then the only thing you might do in your code, and I would show you either in a PDF file or the video, is change the keyboard command. You know, instead of a one key, you press A, maybe B, or something like that. Or, um, or you tie it to a mouse, which I've shown in a lot of my videos anyway. But so I'm building a whole repository of 3D models that have physics physics effects built in so you as artists and animators don't have to spend all the time to learn the math and the physics and the programming because a lot of it is very time consuming so it's very efficient in many ways for me just to do it in advance and then make it available to you affordably just like you know you're not going to go want to build a model of a tank or an airplane in detail sometimes because it just takes too long. And the same thing with this. Some of this takes a long time for me to do code-wise. Not everything like that. But kind of wanted to just give you some heads up where I'm heading with it and maybe you can give me like a one-line feedback in the comments like uh, sounds good or no sounds bad or something, whatever just so I kind of know it's like a little marketing survey. Alright, well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video.